Well, I'm in uh, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Uh, like some of the people here, I've lived all over the country. I've been uh, a Republican all my life. It's kind of surprising because my brother and my parents were hardcore Democrats. Uh, my brother still is. Um, it's probably philosophically the only time my brother and I really agreed, and that's uh, how much we dislike Trump. Uh, of course, to me, I call Trumpism as a cult. I don't even really think they're Republicans. Um, so I'm just for anything we can do to kind of turn this back to where it belongs. But we certainly need to get back to some of our core beliefs and values. I think, I, I guess I kind of like to say he hijacked the party. And of course, you know, he's been a Democrat in the past. I mean, he, he's, never, he's not really a Republican. And he's just a person of opportunity. Um, I, I think he's, I think a lot of the Republicans that are up there, uh, leadership and, you know, uh, representatives and senators are scared of him, that he's a bully. Um, they're concerned that if they cross him, he will go after him, just like he's gone after so many of the other ones. And they're afraid he'll hurt their their base or turn his base against them, you know? And so I think that's kind of where his power comes from. Um, and like I said it before, I consider it a cult. And I think we need to take our, the Republican Party back or, you know, get something going and, and back to where the values that really built the Republican Party come back. I think that's always been something the Republican Party stood for is, you know, we don't do it unless we can pay for it. And, you know, I don't want to pay any more taxes than anybody, but I think the craziest thing in the world to do is cut taxes when, when you have a physical deficit just skyrocketing. It makes no sense because we're selling out the future. And, of course, you know who owns the majority of the, uh, you know, the debt of the United States is China. And so why we, you know, want to do this, I don't understand. Um, I know there's a real mood and uh, particularly, you know, uh, McConnell wanting to put in as many conservative judges as they can, because I know there's some strong feelings about the right to life issues and that sort of stuff. And I, I tend to be more conservative in those things. And I kind of understand that. But at the same time, that can't be the weather all that cannot be the, the total of what we're going to, you know, trying to do. And I think that Biden's smart enough to do that. I think he's smart enough, too, to surround himself with experts, surround him with people that, that, I mean, that's one of the biggest problems with Trump is he thinks he knows it all. He doesn't need anybody to tell him. And we all know that isn't true. Any of this been in kind of management or seen the history of the United States, it's just you've got to have the experts and the support and help.